Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, well, happy Friday, everybody. Here we go now, coasting right on into the weekend. And I tell you what, your overall forecast heading into the weekend, I think you're going to like it. Warmer temperatures, plenty of sunshine, but all eyes are still on this upcoming Monday. Our next opportunity of rainstorms and what appears to be even a risk of some severe weather. There was some new details that came in overnight on this upcoming Monday. So we'll talk about that coming up. And then potentially towards the end of next week, there may be one more hit of severe weather that's now showing up on my weather charts as well. So again, obviously a lot to talk about this morning, but we will get you caught up with it all again over the next few minutes. Uh, but this would be our Friday, and this right here looks good, right up around 80 for a daytime high. Notice the winds today, they do return to the south, a little bit breezy, but of course that southerly wind is a warming wind. And again, you can see quite a bit of sunshine this afternoon. Could be a little bit of high-level cirrus cloud cover filtering through. This is where we started the morning. Morning lows around the area. Most locations mid-upper 40s to right around 50. Uh, the one kind of chillier spot was the Denton area. Take a look at that. Uh, down to 41 this morning. In fact, Denton was one of the chilliest spots in all of North Texas. Most of us, again, mid-upper 40s to, again, right around that 50-degree mark like you're seeing there at Love Field here on the Dallas side of town. So radar completely quiet locally in North Texas, radar completely quiet around the region. Days drive if you are traveling by car today uh, for any reason, heading down to Austin, San Antonio, something like that. Nothing showing up. Again, good weather here. Again, our old storm system that brought us all the active weather again earlier in the week. That continues to push off to the northeast. Again, you can see another day from the Midwest up into the northeast, some active weather in that direction. Uh, but again, for us locally back here at home, it's all about this right here. It's all about that ridge. And again, you can see kind of the bump in the jet stream flow. Uh, it's quiet weather. Uh, it's calm weather. It's dry weather. Uh, simply put, it's all the things we're going to be enjoying as we begin to head into the weekend. And the other piece of this, the air mass remains very dry for at least one more day. Uh, dew point numbers or humidity values around the area, again, remain very low. But the southerly wind that is returning today the one thing you'll notice as we go through the weekend, the Gulf of Mexico moisture, typically there's some green on this map, or it's all brown because it's so dry, but the green will begin to flux back into North Texas. And again, as we go through the weekend, you'll definitely notice the humidity. And of course, that's going to be priming the atmosphere, getting things ready for, well, the potential of some active weather as we get into Monday. In fact, you see it right here. Notice as we go forward in time, there's the moisture, there's the instability building in. And it's just in time for this right here. Look at that donut hole, a big upper area of low pressure. Again, storm trough coming out. And again, the timeline on this remains the same. This will be late on Monday. Uh, the exact track, again, yet to be determined. Is it a little bit further to the north, taking the higher concern of severe weather, maybe a little further north in Oklahoma? Or does it, again, red line, center line track right down through north Texas? Again, too early to make that call. But again, regardless, Monday is going to be one of those weather alert days where we are going to track that opportunity of rain and storms somewhere in the area. And again, more than likely, anything we see on Monday could be severe. Latest from the Storm Prediction Center. A lot of bright red showing up here. But again, notice we still continue to have that blinking zone off to our northwest, even into parts of Oklahoma. Again, like I mentioned, we'll continue to kind of fine tune this forecast as we go through the weekend. Here's the very latest look at some of the modeling coming in. This is the extended range modeling, so it's not quite as pretty as what you typically see, right? But again, you can see, there it is, the opportunity of storms firing off the dry line. And again, the opportunity as we go through, again, Monday, late Monday, into Monday overnight, of again, rain and storms around the area. None of that today. Again, we're talking about temperatures right up around 80, maybe even a few mid-80s in our western counties. Uh, there is your wind. Again, it is a southerly wind, but a few wind gusts up around 20 this afternoon, and it's a good-looking Friday evening. Wow, look at that, with temperatures slowly easing down through the 70s. No weather complications whatsoever. Mid-upper 50s to right around 60. That's the way we're going to start our Saturday morning, and then we'll continue to build on the temperatures as we go through tomorrow, Saturday. A few upper 70s in the east, but again, we're talking about some mid-80s. Look at that in our western county. So similar story right here in the Metroplex. We'll continue to build on the temperatures through the weekend. There's that opportunity of rain and storms Monday hotter by the middle part of next week, followed by another opportunity of rain and storms.